What's up, Predestined, Predestined Kingdom Ministries International Videos? <laughs> I'm Kenithia J. Welcome back. So, the Lord was showing me a, okay, I had to read the Proverbs of Solomon. So, I'm finishing up, the, I had to read it again. I'm finishing up the Proverbs of Solomon. And so the Lord was just like ministering to me. I don't want to go this way. I go this way. And and I'm going to start off with the one I see right now. Proverbs 20 through 22. But which one is that? Don't worry. I'll put it in the description box before I post this video. But in the book of Proverbs, there's two scriptures the lord wants me to go over today one give those who lend to the poor what is it borrow from god or something like that so basically when you sow seed and you find somebody that you want to sow into or you have like a home ministry or your home altar to where your church is you're supposed to sow. So, you see poor people on the street. You're not supposed to judge them and say, I don't want to give them my money because they're going to go smoke it. I don't want to give them my money because they're going to have some Nikes like me. God say, remember his poor. And then on top of that, he's saying, sorry, when you give, it's, a bar it's like God borrowing it from you, so he's going to give it back. You know, I grew up with one parent loving to give when she was in the ministry. And the other parent, he still to this day, I can't give, he won't give nothing to the, to the church. Now, if I told him I saw somebody, like if he sent me to the store for him, and I see somebody like um, less fortunate or whatever, then I tell my dad, I'll be like, well, dad, I used two of your dollars to give to the homeless person because they needed it or whatever. So, but yeah, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to give and you're supposed to give freely because God gives freely to us. And that's a lot. I hope this man don't stop to talk to me. And that's why we have, um, I'm sorry. I think this man trying to talk to me the police talking to me hi oh it's okay thank you <laughs> yeah he's just offering me a ride uh -huh. um <laughs> thank you I appreciate it thank you Okay, guys, sorry, so I was asking you for my name. Let me tell not to side note, but shout out to Angel Easy for prophesying to me because she just said two days ago, like, a bunch of people was going to start wanting to get my number. Look at this dove. Have mercy, oh, Father. Nope, I lied. That wasn't a dove. That was just a regular bird. I've been seeing a dove fly over me, like, flapping the peace thing so i thought it was doing it again anyway yes they've been coming they've been coming i'm walking to go get my something done i don't want to put all my business out i'm walking to get my nails done just like can i give you a ride what's your name oh we made it <laughs> sorry y'all i'm such a goofball anyway you have to lend you have to sow seed. Don't expect God to just be blessing you and you want to sow what you want to sow and you don't want to listen to the Holy Spirit tell you where to sow. Okay? So, that's one. Number two, don't lie. You cannot lie to an, an anointed child of God. Somebody who God is using, especially in a prophetic Guys, I'm a prophet. You lie to me, I'm going to know you lying to me. 
I had somebody lie to me last night and yesterday. I said, that's how you know if somebody take you serious or not. If they could lie to you and it don't hurt them, you know how much deceit you got in your heart for you to lie to somebody? Like, lying is not small. It stems from, you know, a lot of sin, a lot of sin stems from lying, stealing. A lot of sin steals from, I mean, it starts with lying. I said stem, which means the foundation, where it starts from. All that stuff starts from a lie. And you got to keep telling another lie and another lie. And then if it's me, I'm going to catch you while you lying. I'm going to catch you while you're lying because I'm supposed to. It's part of my gifts. If I don't catch you while I'm lying, God God ain't doing something right with him leading me. It's somewhere, it's something I'm missing. And that God don't make no mistakes, so...